Yeah, so we went to Austin yesterday to visit with the Green Lake guys, mm-hmm. with Matt Gallagher and Rob and rest of the team. And uh, dude, I was actually really impressed with Green Lake and one what they've built on their data side. Super impressive. Two, how they're forward thinking, trying to learn about Bitcoin mining, especially in a low price environment and then you know just they're fun people to hang out with and also too. extremely tall too yeah, they're extremely tall i mean shit dude matt and six five six six is like the average height yeah. of green lake that's what i asked him i said is there a minimum height requirement to work at green lake and am i welcome here because i'm clearly under <laughs> under the threshold <laughs> and you get to stack a press release so you get to add another one of those to your belt but yeah so it's funny because we went to lunch before we went to their office and uh we're sitting there and like we have something for you and they hand over this uh this letter. i was for sure i was like this has got to be like oh this is like first access to some big acquisition or well, like, that's what we're i thought. going that's public what, or something i was like oh we're getting like first access to something and this they is uh they you know I, I i take the letter out of the envelope and i look at it and it's like green lake uh energy engages in an loi with top bitcoin advisory firm so that's what i thought i was like i was like let's go like i thought like they're moving forward with bitcoin and then i start reading the paragraph and uh and it's talking about how they they partnered up with uh with us and it's like you know ceo colin mcclellan had this to say and it's like i am the source and so what i appreciate about this was like this was like real time memeage that was happening, you know, because this was evolving over on Twitter. You know, I made this video that was like, "I'm, I am the source." And Rob, I guess, I guess Matt was headed out of the office to go to a doctor's appointment before our lunch, and he told Rob to get this uh, press release spun up. And so Rob made it in like ten minutes, and you know, had their Green Lake uh, uh, Energy uh, letterhead, and it was from their IR department, and had like a phone number for the call in. So I don't know if like. People on Twitter are like, oh, yeah, I'm going to call in. <laughs> <laughs> but I just had like so much appreciation for their sense of humor and like they took time to, to go create that. I so let's, that give, let's give some context for those who are not familiar. So Matt Gallagher worked his way up <clears throat> at Parsley to becoming CEO of Parsley, right? No, he was at Pioneer. He was at Pioneer before, before Parsley, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I don't know if you... Did you see at, at Green Lakes uh, on their desk, they had the lease signs yeah. with Green Lake and it had the employees' names on it? I thought that was cool. And I was at my mom and stepdad's ranch a couple weeks ago and I saw my stepdad had one of those lease signs from Pioneer and it, it said uh, Dave on it. I'm not going to say his last name. And I took a picture of it because I was like, I want to get some of those made for digital wall yeah, catters. Sure. Like, that'd be sweet. And we walked into Green Lake's office and I saw that. And so Everybody's I, desk had one. I yeah, I pulled, out, I pulled out that picture of my stepdad's and I showed it to, to Matt. And Matt's like, your dad's Dave? Your stepdad's Dave? And I was like, yeah. And he knew Dave. And then I was like, you know, Jeff James as well. And Jeff is my uncle. And um, and I think Jeff, you know, kind of trained up, uh, helped train up Matt when he was young over at Pioneer. So went from Pioneer to Parsley. Um, sold Parsley to yeah, became, Pioneer. Became CEO of, of Parsley and then sold Parsley to Pioneer. And then and he then, joined their board. What did they sell for? It was like, wasn't it like $5 billion? I don't remember the exact dollar amount. Let me, let me look real quick so that we can... Get some context here. Parsley acquisition. I want to say it was like four and a half. Yeah, four and a half billion. Yeah, so, uh, so four and a half billion to Pioneer. Joined Pioneer's board. He's still on the board of Chesapeake as what well. What year was that? That was 2021, January yeah. 2021. Um, oh, he's on the board for Chesapeake? Yep. Yeah, and then I think... He was, you know, doing some doing some work with NGP. You know, yeah, he told so, us he told us that they that he sat in with Halliburton Labs and you know were investing in some of the companies alongside. You know, I thought it was funny because he made a comment. He's like, "Yeah, you know, it's hard for me to wrap my head around you know some of this deep energy tech because it's like, oh yeah, you know, ten years we may be able to monetize and you know, Matt's a true oil and gas guy. He's looking at free cash flow and <laughs> and, and bottom line. So well, I mean, it was like part of their original thesis that they wanted to dedicate a certain percentage of their capital to like potentially make some of these investments. So what I thought was interesting about that is like, hey, I want to go like sit with NGP and sit with Halliburton Labs and just get like get smart on this for like six months. And so he was like embedded with yeah with those groups. That was pretty cool. Yeah. And then um, yeah, that's what I asked him when we we're sitting there. I was like, what is y'all's what is y'all's strategy now? Because I know you want to do this energy tech fund and Sounds like they've gone pure play, EMP, uh, 
which brings up, you know, they're letting us play around with their dashboards and, 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 you know, showing us up on the screen, you know, Matt's like, you know, I sit down every morning and these are the things I look through and dude, I was super impressed with their mm-hmm. real time analytics that they had on their oil and gas production. I will say that it seemed to me to be the most advanced that I've ever seen of an EMP yeah. at first glance. I mean, yeah. walking through that, I mean, those who've listened, followed what I've done historically was playing data management space and they figured it out. I mean, it was like, Rob just like passed me an iPad at lunch while everybody was talking. Imagine, I was just you know, like, like diving imagine that like back it. in 2016, like the idea of passing across an iPad at, at lunch Every and having all of piece your data. of company information, anything you could possibly imagine was in there. Yeah. And it was a, clean. You were sitting next to me. I looked over at you like while I was talking. I was like, I could see you're like, dude, I don't even know where like the fuck to go. There's so much There's information. There's so much data in here. But it was like, I mean, just dashboard after dashboard. But the way that they had, they put a lot of thought into it. I think what I appreciate about that is that it was through a learning experience of like all the scar tissue from Rob's time at Chesapeake. Yeah. And, and then Parsley from, and yeah, Pioneer. Yeah. yeah it was, it was a huge it was, learning experience. So they wanted to set they wanted to set GreenLake up for success and scalability, you know, so that they can do GreenLake 1, GreenLake 2, GreenLake 3, yeah. and so on, yeah. right? But have the data architecture in place to be able to do that. And yeah. I think so many times that's an afterthought for some of these like PE-backed yeah. operators. They're an exception because, I mean, Rob is, is is a technology guy who comes from oil and gas, but he is one of the managing partners of GreenLake, right? Yeah. You don't see that many yeah, times he's a tech guy. We, yeah, yeah. one of the managing directors there. yeah you know i thought also what was cool is they were talking about other technologies that they had integrated like combo curve and so you know they were able to you know test their actual production against their type curves that they had generated with combo curve and now you know that's gonna you know give all types of insight to new drills or or acquisitions and, and things of that nature and also thought it was funny you know i always like using when i'm showing so we ran them through the the collide demo and I always like showing barrel hubs profile on collide because <laughs> it's fully built out you know they got demos podcasts screenshots customers listed so i always use barrel hub as our example along with uh pod two i use them too and um usually though when i ask i'm like have you heard of barrel hub the answer is no and they're like yeah we have heard of, we use barrel hub and we used it and it helped them make a but it sounded like a really good acquisition is it, is it paid and, for itself in under yeah, a month yeah and so i thought that was cool like he was like don't tell anybody else about barrel hub they'll raise their prices yeah. <laughs> so here we are talking about it on a podcast <laughs> but shout out to barrel hub um, i thought that was cool to hear it but you know i thought it was cool how green lake is not only focusing on their internal tech and data um but also um integrating this this new software and you know rob had brought that up he was like yeah you know people see our dashboard and like man you should productize this and sell it and what i appreciated about them was like building like servicing software is is hard like that's standing up an entire company yeah. and so you know maybe we can get them on sometime uh get rob and, and matt on sometime and just kind of talk talk about how how they they think about that type of stuff i think one of the things that was cool with you know, Rob's like, you know, the ecosystem's large. There's lots of different software that you can connect with. We have a very basic litmus test where if you want to integrate, if if I'm like, how quickly can we do this? And you're like, oh, it's going to be like a month or two. He was like, you're obviously not the right partner for us. Yeah. So like you have to have your architecture set up in a way that where we can plug in almost immediately. Plug in, in weeks or days fast. Yeah. to be able to do it. I love that because that's a great yeah. litmus test. You know, yeah. he was at lunch talking, you know, about like SAP integrations. And he said at Chesapeake. You know, they had 200 SAP consultants for a three-year implementation. That's crazy, man. That's Leg- crazy. Legend has it the implementation is still not done. Yeah, that's I mean, it could be. That's <laughs> <laughs> like 20 times the employees we have at DW just on one project on a, on a implementation. Well, so. What he said was that Aubrey at one time had 600 people in IT. Yeah, that's mind blowing. Yeah, that's I wish crazy I could. Been, I wish I could have been at Chesapeake during the the heyday of of Aubrey. Just you know, blowing been, and going. Yeah, that would have been awesome. But it's cool to you know see the uh, kind of the culmination of learnings um, from from the entire team at, at their pre- past EMPs and now building an EMP from scratch and saying, hey, we're going to do it. You know, data data first, data oriented, and you know, be a tech company. Um, yeah. So anyways, wanted to get on and just kind of download from our trip 
on that. I like this format. So it's a cool format. We've we been talking about doing vlogs, but that's like it's kind of high barrier. It's video. You have to think about all the editing and stuff. It's much easier to just come in here. Yeah. And like debrief. And, and stuff. Rob had called you out because so Rob, <laughs> you know, Rob's this big old dude, you know, he's got to be, you know, six four or something like that. And then uh, just big dude. And he drives this uh, this town car <laughs> and we were laughing about it. It's like a 2006 town car. And on the back window, it's got green, green lake in uh, old English uh, uh, font. And anyway, so we're laughing about that. And he drives back and forth uh, from uh, Oklahoma City and, and Austin. And so he has lots of windshield time and listens uh, to our podcast. And he, he called you out on one of the podcasts. I won't, I won't say who the guest was, but the guest was kind of like bashing on uh smaller emps and just not having their shit together when it came to data and you know rob's like yeah you know green lake kind of blows that out of the blows that out of the water because i mean it's it's uncommon it really is uncommon but the fact that they have it all together i think it just speaks to the experience that that they have in the space and it's remarkable that's like the golden standard in my opinion kind of moving forward yeah and if every company ran like that the space would look wildly different yeah 